Well, I think it's going to be actually quite bifurcated and there's going to be some really interesting results coming up and Netflix will be probably the most interesting of the lot. Um, why do I say that? Um, the reason being is that we've had the emergence of Disney Plus in the last quarter. And so what's going to be really interesting is to see what happens to US subscriber numbers for Netflix. So a couple of quarters ago, they actually turned negative for the first time, um, moved back into positive territory. But we'll, what's going to happen when Disney launches, as Disney's launched, will we get significant churn in those numbers? Um, or will we actually see Netflix going from strength to strength? Mm -hmm. Well, one of the big questions around the impact of the, these new emerging players in the streaming space is the impact on pricing and the impact on customer acquisition costs. I mean, what's your expectation here for Netflix, which is obviously the pioneer in this space, but what does the emergence of Disney Plus and then, of course, HBO coming out and you can, the list goes on on pricing and customer acquisition costs specifically? Absolutely. So, I mean, the, the, the worry for Netflix potentially is that long term people believe this company will have pricing power. They believe that if you look at different expectations, they reckon you can charge around $15 for the service, at around 11 today on average. Um, with Disney launching at the price point it is, uh, there's significant concern, especially from myself, that we can actually get up to that $15 level. So it's a hard one for Netflix to justify. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? Because remember when everyone was saying, I'm going to cut the cord because I want to save some money and I'm going to you know, stream my content instead. But now, you know, when you look at every, every household, there might be Disney Plus for the kids, there might be Netflix for me, there might be Apple Plus TV for my husband. When, when you add it all up, it becomes quite expensive, doesn't it? And you have option paralysis. But let's talk a little bit about Amazon um, because I understand that you are bullish on the stock. And how much has it come down to AWS? AWS is a massive driver of this company. Um, obviously, the, the cloud business has massive potential for growth on, on a multi-decade point of view. So one of the things that we will be looking for is the AWS growth number this quarter. Um, reason being, if we can say that this is a multi-decade opportunity, but the growth slows substantially in the quarter, then it makes you draw back your expectations for what the potential of this market could be. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.